We've been talking about this for over a year now on our land, the Ponderosa, and what we've learned is we've got too many bison. So what we've been working on is a way to reduce our herd. So one way we've got to do it is sell some animals. They'll run through here, we'll catch them, and then we'll do some sorting from there on which animals I'm selling to lower our herd size here. Chickens, you're next. Don't worry. Coming. Yeah, chick, 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 chick. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Summers Bison. I'm Dusty. We are the Bakers. Uh, I'm flying a little solo this morning, but uh, got the ATV ready. Got our sack of cubes. I'd like to thank Factor for sponsoring today's video. I'm excited for this journey. Um, I hope you guys are too. We've been talking about this for over a year now. We went and met with Ethan McJames at the NRCS and we learned about our stocking rate, stocking density, our um, forage. Got a lot of education on our land, the Ponderosa, and what we've learned is we've got too many bison. So what we've been working on is a way to reduce our herd one, just to take care of the land. That's the number one thing. And to ethically to manage our grazing, our regenerative grazing and our holistic approach the right way. So one way we've got to do it is sell some animals. Well, we've got a, got a contact and I've got some, uh, a specific person interested in buying some uh, bison from us. And so this is going to be a great way to reduce our herd, fix our stocking density, fix our stocking rate and get things right on track with the ponderosa so we can start managing the land better and i know it's hard this is hard for marissa and i we have to make some business decisions when it comes to these sort of things and um, so this is what we're doing if you guys want to join us i've got to go get the big joe herd they're out here in pasture too they're in their rotational grazing for the summer warm season grasses so it starts right here at the atv i got my little paper sack of feed got a couple of cubes from the 3c feeder and uh, we'll shake this we'll get them up here we're gonna catch them in our main corral which is where we always do right here next to the barn they'll come in over by our front entry this gate right here they'll come in they'll mess around a little bit get some grazing and then i've already poured cubes out right here for them they'll run through here we'll catch them and then we'll do some sorting from there on which animals i'm selling uh, to lower our herd size here let's just say we may be making a trip to colorado with some of our animals so this gate's going to stay open so they'll come in through here didn't look like they're very far i see them right here you can see almost the entire pasture from our barn some of our cover crop pasture left over the rye is starting to die, but what's great about it is here comes all the warm season native grasses are coming in. It's great. This place has recovered really well. There they are. So they're all out here. Okay, so the next thing is we've got to get this Big Joe herd caught right up here in our main corral. We've got to get them all. If there's some that I know that uh, aren't going to go, that aren't going to, that are going to be cut out of our program or are going to be sold. And then also, don't forget, I'll tell you the story of the people that are interested in buying these bison. But what I've got to do is get them up, get them sorted out of the group that I'm, I'm kind of wanting to um, sell 
and uh, take videos and pictures of them. I'm going to send them to the guys and they're going to give me a yay or nay on which ones they want. And then we'll go from there um, for our business decisions. But for now, this is what we're going to do. And I know you're thinking, Dusty, you're selling these for meat. Don't jump on that real quick, okay? Slow your horses down because no, that's not where these animals are going. They're actually going to a new producer starting to raise bison for the first time and they can start with our animals. So that's exciting, right? That's, that's super exciting. Here's the challenge though. We've got babies. We've got uh, some calves I'm gonna go ahead and sort out that have been out here. Remember those three escapees from the hay meadow sneaking under the barbed wire a little bit too high. There's Phoenix. And Bill. The challenge is the red dogs here. So we've got, I'm not gonna pull them in. If I can keep them out, that would be great. So that's the idea is to pull them out and not, uh, not even get them in the corral, actually. That's not always how it goes, but I know some of you are wondering, where are these animals going? Where, what's gonna happen to them? As these people are actually starting their own bison ranch, first bison ranch ever, and they reached out to Marissa and I to purchase some animals. And luckily enough, we've been wanting to sell some to the right people and do the right thing uh, because we've got some really good breeding stock and they're gonna go to an awesome place and we're gonna bring you on that journey with us. So, starts right here. We've gotta put some work in, some sweat equity is what Mike, fireman Colorado Mike would say, sweat equity. So we're gonna bring them up and uh, then look like they're, it's taking too long. So they're already coming up here to see me and the old uh, ranger. Here comes Big Joe. Looking good, Big Joe. Big Joe, will you lead the way? I know you always do. Where's your buddy Haas? He, Haas is way out there. He's in the back. He's picking up seconds. That's what he's supposed to be doing anyways. All right, so they're coming. All right, let's get her fired up. Move them out. Let's go. Come on, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Woo, come on. I've got cubes spread out right here. We'll go get some more for them. It's a reward system for them. All right, so my goal here is to go back, get the main gate. That's the main thing I gotta do. Some of them will keep filtering in. All right, so push some of them. Now we're gonna go get the main gate. Eleanor's on her way in, but we don't want Eleanor to come in. I know you guys are thinking, why don't you want Eleanor? Well, we're not selling Eleanor. So, it's safer, honestly, on Eleanor if she stays out there. All right, we're gonna lock this. All right, now, uh, El so Eleanor's in there, but that's the easy part, folks. Uh, now it's the hard part is uh, trying to gate cut the ones that I want to sell, uh, the ones that kind of Marissa and I have an idea of which ones we want to sell. Now the hard part begins. 
because it is not the easiest uh, thing to do is to uh, gate cut them. You hopefully, they wanna come out and go back there. So the idea is to cut the ones out and then I've gotta get some footage of them and stuff like that, send to the potential buyers. And then from there, uh, we'll decide what to do. Uh, but right now, now the real work starts. Uh, and I like to do this by myself. I like to gate cut by myself. Um, and I may need Marissa, we'll see, but hopefully uh, I can do it by myself because it's easier. And uh, they're used to working around me. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go inside, take a quick little lunch break. Got something to show you guys in there. Let them calm down a little bit and we'll come back and we'll start cutting these bison. Been a long day. Marissa and I are hungry. We're a little tired. Little girl's hungry. One of the best things that we like to do is come together at the end of the day in the evening, have a little family dinner. Factor comes through for us. They have uh, flavorful shots, have actual smoothies. They have these little bites. So we're excited to try Yummy. these. How about you're excited? Yum. Oatmeal raisin, peanut butter bites. Boom. Is that peanut butter in there? Pretty good. Within two minutes, you can have a delicious and fun meal for you and your family. There's several different ways to cook these awesome meals. Microwave, or like for us, we like the conventional oven. Skip to fast food. Factor makes it easy for you. These are fresh, never frozen meals. Whether it's a quick lunch, a late dinner, or we're on the go, Factor saves the day for us. You know how we do it as a family. The best way to do it is check out factor75.com. Use the code Bison50. Guys, you can get 50% off your first box. Factor supports our ranch, supports our family, and makes it easy for us. Use the QR code scan right here or go to factor75.com. Use the code Bison50. You get 50% off your first box and 20% off your orders next month. That comes straight to your door. I didn't do a very good job of preparing. I want them all to go in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the 3C feeder. We're gonna spread some cubes out. Hey, they're like 82. All right, so let's go ahead and get the cube feeder. Great thing about this cube feeder, 3C. Look at that, guys, remote. Am I not spooled or what? It's perfect for bison, perfect for cattle, whatever it is. Love it. All right, we need to reset our revolutions. Put a lot of cubes over winter. All right, so they're already kind of making their way in here, but we want to give them some more. All right, so I'm gonna set the camera up just so you guys can see this. I'm gonna make a quick adjustment. Here, I wanna show you guys what happens here. So I can do it right here from the remote or right here, but we're gonna drop this down. That. Peaches? What you doing, girl? All right, so we're just gonna drive slowly and I'm gonna, I can control it all right here. So we're gonna go. And all I'm doing is hitting this button right here, the feeder button sporadically, just like we did in the winter. So I can spread this out. So all this is, is just a reward system for them. And the great thing about it, it tells you how many pounds you're putting out and stuff like that. Hoss. 
still got some stragglers out there. All right, so I just parked. I put out a lot of cubes. That back of my door. And then raise this back up. I can use the remote or just come over here. Put that back up. They know that sound. So I've got all but five. And uh, looks like three of them got babies. But I need to try to get them all in there if I can. Eleanor's hanging out over there. We'll have to get her, gotta get her some cubes too. Let's see if I can get them to go in here real quick. Get behind them and get a little push. Woo, come on mamas. Come on, shoo. Go, ha, ah. let's go, go. Let's go, come on. Go, come on. All right, guys, this one is staying with us. She's gonna stay here. So if she doesn't need to come in, she's gonna live the dream out there and grace. All right, we've got them. Step one, check. And step two, this is part of step one. As always, do that right there. I've made way too many mistakes by just being lazy and not latching that and just hooking it because some of them, like Hoss, will come over here and chew on this, lip it up, and pull it out. So, always carabine it. Yep, rocking the cowboy hat now. The old straws. This year, it's just a little tighter since it's straw season. I've been wearing it, so I'm trying to break it back in. This is my very first straw hat ever, but... It's a little tight on my head. I don't know if my head's gotten fatter or the straw's just gotten smaller. <laughs> I may need, a, may need a new one because it starts to hurt the forehead after a while, but my old pale skin, I gotta have it protect all this right here. So, all right, we've got them pinned up all but this one right here. She's staying here at the ranch more than likely. She's a beauty. So, now it's time to do the fun part, the hard part. We've gotta cut these out and keep the ones that I want in here and the other ones out. They're going back out in the pasture with Eleanor. So I'm gonna go open this gate real quick. We'll come back. I'll set the camera up for you. Got this little run here. Hopefully it will help me create a lane to get them out. And they should just go right back out there. Back out in the pasture too. Kind of a rough start. It's only 10.25, but um, they're kind of happy in there. I mean, I gave them a bunch of cubes as a reward system for coming in here, but now they act like they don't want to move, um, which it's kind of getting that time of the day. It's their mid-morning break, that government break time, you know, about 10, 15. So um, I'm going to have to try to get them with some cubes. Normally they're trying to get out of here, but they're actually just happy to be in here, I guess, which is not a bad thing, but still, we'll try again. Try a little bag shaking this time, see what we can get.
So the problem is, is right now, all the ones that I want to keep, some of these females are hanging out right here. That's the problem. The ones I'm trying to sort out are staying here. But I, what I want, the goal is, is to get everybody else out. Like, I've already got Big Joe. He's gone. He's over here eating grass. I want the ones that are going back out in the pasture to come through here. That's the goal. Well, I finally got them cut. It took me a little bit longer uh, than I wanted, but that whole deal, anytime you're gate cutting using a gate like this, you gotta have a lot of patience with these animals and you wanna do things safe. It took me a little bit of time and I try not to push them because it's starting to get warm. You see them getting flustered a little bit. You gotta be patient. So it took me about two hours or so. I actually had to have Marissa come help me a little bit, but uh, we got them separated. We, we've got the ones picked out that we're gonna sell and uh, this will be kind of a shocker to a lot of you. We're gonna have them staged here for about a week or two before we kind of decide when it works out for us to make our trip. We'll send, we'll take photos and videos of these guys and on the next video, I'm gonna let you know all about it on who we're selling, where they're going and are we gonna take them or, there or not. So, got it done today, but I wanna thank Factor for sponsoring today's video. Guys, check it out at factor75.com or scan the QR code right here. Use the code BISON50 and you get 50% off your first box and 20% off next month's order. Thank you guys for watching this. We'll keep on Boston Ranching.